So I don't know if you can see, but it is sudsing up. Oh, my battery actually... Sh yes! <laughs> People are gonna laugh. Huh? People are gonna laugh. Are they? Yeah. Okay, do you think I should not put this part in? No. Is it silly? Yeah. Welcome everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fabulous summer. It has been so gorgeous out in Toronto. The sun is shining. After I finish filming this video, I'm actually gonna head outside, which is now, because this is the end of the video. This is the final, the final product. You guys have been asking me for a hair care routine, and I thought I would finally sit down and film one for you guys. My hair care routine is really simple, and you guys know if you've followed me for a while on YouTube or social media, I don't wash my hair that often. I probably wash my hair about once a week, which I can do a whole separate video about that, but I don't wash my hair a lot. So when I do, I really like to spend some time, do like a double shampoo, uh, blow dry it and style it. So that way my style, my hairstyle will last a few days without, with just like little retouches here and there. So if you guys are interested in finding out how I get this hairstyle, then just keep watching. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like after a few days of not washing it. I normally would go a few more days without washing it, but I'm filming this video for you guys and I want to share with you guys my hair tutorial, so I figured I will wash my hair today. <laughs> I feel like when you wash your hair every day, your hair just gets used to producing more oil, just like your face or your skin. Uh, when you overwash it, it tends to get more oily, it breaks out more um, because you're stimulating those glands to produce more oil. So, and stripping them of their natural like oil and stuff so same thing with your scalp I find if you kind of just let it let it do its thing it usually doesn't need to be washed as often as you think unless you have like a job that you are actually getting dirty every day I mean for the most part we don't need to wash our hair every day and I don't have time to do that like who has time to wash their hair every day not me I got I got things to do so I basically wash my hair once a week and then I will style it and I'll just kind of upkeep that style throughout the week okay so I'm gonna go rinse my hair out in just a sec so I can show you guys my favorite shampoo and this is not sponsored although I wish because I love this brand this is Karina organics and they make this amazing shampoo conditioner deep conditioner they make lots of hair products and you'll you'll see a couple that I, I'm gonna show you but this is their extra gentle shampoo for dry or chemically treated treated hair that was Chloe sneezing in the background um, bless you Chloe I've tried a few of their different uh, shampoos but this one just smells so good it's the citrus one. Oh my goodness and I've been using this for probably about three years straight I want to say I've switched up a couple of times but this is basically the one I always gravitate back to and I love it so I'm gonna go rinse out my hair and I'm gonna lather this guy in so I just finished washing my hair and I used the extra gentle shampoo by Karina organics that I was telling you about and then oh I did two uh, washes of this I found when you don't wash your hair that often the first round doesn't really suds up as much and then you rinse it, do a second round and then it's really gonna suds up. And then I rinse it out really well and I followed up with the Sweet Pea Daily Light Conditioner. So I rinsed my hair out after using this and then I did a cold rinse. I always will do a cold rinse at the end of washing my hair just to kind of seal my hair follicles and I find it just feels really refreshing on the scalp. Another product that I sometimes follow up with is my little apple cider vinegar hair rinse. I made this myself. It's just, um, I think it's like one part apple cider vinegar and then two parts distilled water. I use distilled water so it lasts longer so I don't have to worry about it going rancid or anything. It's amazing. It basically removes all of the buildup from hair products and stuff from your hair and your scalp. And it actually hyd it like almost softens your hair and makes it easier to detangle when you're brushing it. So it's crazy because you would think putting a vinegar on your hair would make it dry and knotty and stuff, but it does the opposite. Just don't get it in your eyes because that hurts so much. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. All right, so it looks a little crazy. But bear with me, we're gonna, we're gonna attempt this. I always use a wide tooth comb like this. I got this one from Sephora a long time ago. It wasn't too expensive. I'll link one down below. And actually my hair's not too tangly. I find since I cut it, a lot of the dead ends at the bottom that were tangling up my hair are gone. So it's a lot easier to run a brush through. Now you wanna always make sure to gently brush your hair because when your hair is wet, it's actually at its weakest state and it is a lot easier to break your hair when it's wet. So a lot of times, you know, you get out of the shower and you're like just going at it with like a full bristled brush and that's how you rip 
your hair and damage it. So you usually want to start at the ends and just work your way up. The next product I'm going to use is one that I don't use every single time. I basically will use it if I know I want my hair to be extra shiny and smooth or if I have an event to go to. But since I wanna show you guys the full hair care routine, I'm gonna show you guys this product. This is actually just a sample one of it, but it's the Chi Silk Infusion. Uh, what is this, like a hair, I don't know, like a pre blow dry hair treatment. I don't know actually what to call it. Um, but mine's like almost done. I literally use like, you probably can't see, but the tiniest amount, like a pea size amount, actual pea. And I'm just gonna rub it through my hands. And the reason why I only use a little bit is because A, it's not really like good for your hair. It is, probably has chemicals in it. But I mean, it does, it does the trick. It like really does smooth out your hair when you're blow drying it. And I really just use it on the ends. And like I said, I just use a little bit. But I mean, now that I'm almost done that one, that thing has lasted me years. Like it's crazy how long I've had that. But um, basically I'm looking for a natural hair serum. That's the name, hair serum. Okay, so at this point I will usually just tie up my hair and let it air dry for a little bit. I don't really like to blow dry it when it's this wet. It's just more damaging for your hair and I don't think it's necessary because I still really get a good blow dry even halfway through letting it dry. So I'm just gonna put it up into a little bun. Just going to tie it in a little bun. I'm gonna let it just dry a little bit. Usually I'll just like maybe make breakfast if I'm getting ready in the morning, clean up, tidy up the house or something like that, answer emails, let it dry a little bit and then I'm gonna show you guys how I blow dry. So I'll see you guys in about half an hour or so. Oh, this is like my pet peeve. I hate untangling things. I think if you go like this, nope. So to blow dry my hair, I use this blow dryer, very fancy, it's very old. This is by Rusk. Uh, my mom's actually a hairdresser, so I get uh, like hair salon products, I guess, for pretty cheap. So, or not cheap, but like a little bit cheaper than you would buy at a regular store. Uh, so yeah, this is just a round brush. I can't even tell you who it's by because the thing came off. Uh, I'm sure I can find a similar one down below. This one is like a ceramic one. So it's really good because it kind of helps like heat heats up and smooths out your hair as you are blow drying. I'm gonna put my head upside down. I'm gonna blow dry it upside down all at the roots to kind of bring some volume and lift at the roots. Then I'm gonna section off my hair and use the round brush to give it a nice smooth dry finish. Tell you it's an arm workout. Okay, I have a little elastic here. You can also use a clip, but I'm just gonna section off my hair. Put that in the little bun on top. Then I'm gonna use my brush. I'm going to take it and blow dry it down and just kind of turning it in at the bottom, following it with the blow dryer. Then this last layer. All right, so this is what my hair looks like after I blow dry it. Now, if I wanted to just wear it straight like this, I might take a little bit more time on, you know, the ends, curling them in or curling them out, whatever I wanted to do. Um, but like, I'm fine with this because I'm actually gonna go in with a curler just to show you guys how I get my loose waves that I usually wear in my videos or on a daily basis. So I'm just heating up my curler right now, which is from the 1970s. Uh, I don't know, it might be just as old as me. This is the Conair, I don't even know what model, Instant Heat. I really like this one. I think it's about a one and a half inch barrel. I will try and link one similar down below. Like I said, this thing is ancient. I'm shocked it is still turning on. That's how old it is. It gives my hair almost that second day curl look. Like I curled my hair yesterday, I slept in it, and it's just loose and wavy and like, I don't care, but really you do, because you took a long, long time curling your hair. I only do about two sections for this curling part. So I'm just gonna put it in a little bun. I take, I don't know, the bottom, I take pretty thick sections. I just want a kind of wavy look. It doesn't need to be 
like Shirley Temple curls by any means. So I actually use this curler like a wand. I open it up. Hopefully my extension cord is gonna bear with me. Okay, so and then I wrap it around. I hold it as close to my scalp as I can get and I point the curler down and I just hold the ends. And I just hold it there, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. Every curler is different, so don't hold it for too long if you're using one of those crazy hot curlers. I, I like them as well. I used to use them when my hair was longer, but now that my hair's short, I feel like it makes it too, I don't know, it's, it makes it too curly, I find. I don't like it. And then when I'm done, I let them fall in my hand and I let them cool slightly, especially on freshly washed hair. If you don't do this, I feel like it's just gonna go back to flat. And you can see, hopefully you can see it in the viewfinder or in the camera. I basically just will grab random pieces and start curling. I am not, I should have said this in the beginning, I am not a hairdresser or a beauty guru. This is just what I do and you guys have been asking me for a long time how I style my hair. So I'm showing you today. Let it cool. And there you have it, little curl. And all the pieces in front of the face always curl away from your face. Okay, so once you've curled all of your hair, you can just kind of run your fingers through it. I don't really take a brush to it, I just kind of loosen them up. So if you guys have dry or color treated hair like I do on my ends, then it's really nice to kind of just moisturize it with a nice little oil. And I really like using jojoba oil and I usually will just take a very tiny, tiny, tiny amount, run it through my hands, it's a good hand moisturizer as well, and I'll just kind of scrunch it and run it just on the ends because you don't want to put oil near your roots, you want those to, to stay as dry as they can be without turning into dandruff. Okay, so, and I might put it in the front just because I have some color up there as well. But you don't want to put a lot of oil. And for some people, this is even still too much oil. So just be cautious. Use only a little bit. And sometimes I might just take a little bit of extra, like whatever's left over on my hand, and just kind of rub it to get rid of any flyaways. Now, I haven't done this in a while, but when my hair does feel really dry and damaged, I maybe do this maybe like once, once a month, once every other month, I will do a major coconut hair mask and I'll do like a scalp massage, I'll let it sit for a few hours while I'm just like hanging around the house and then I will rinse it out really, really well. Sometimes you even have to do three shampoos to get it out so your hair doesn't feel oily. But guys, coconut oil, I get this from Costco, a big tub. I will scoop some out, put it in a little container in the bathroom that I use for shaving, for hair masks, for lots of different uses. Um, so this is like the all-purpose oil, I love it. <laughs> Lastly, what I like to do is just set my hair with some kind of hairspray. I don't do this all the time, but if I am going out or I want my hairstyle to last, I will do a quick few sprays of this Karina Organics hairspray. This is their Pure and Natural. It's also the Sweet Pea scent, and this is their Fast Drying hairspray. And it's almost done. It's lasted me so long because I don't really use it that often, uh, but I'm just gonna kind of, I don't know, 15 centimeters away from my hair. And I just kind of crunch my hair a little bit. And I really like this one because I know it's not gonna dry out my hair, and I can still brush through my hair when I use this. It's not crunchy. So. And then on the top, to get rid of any flyaways, I will usually cover my head. And then you can just pat them down. A trick is also to use the bottle and just do that. And there you go. Freshly washed and styled hair. All right, and there you have it, a super easy way to style your hair using some natural products, some not so natural products. I'm always looking to slowly switch out my beauty 
skincare or hair care routine with natural products, uh, one product at a time. So when I finish a product, I will usually try to look for something a little bit better um, for my body. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave you some good little tips and tricks and new products that you might want to use in your hair care routine. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what video you would like to see next on my channel. I'm thinking about doing maybe a makeup routine or like I said, maybe how I style my hair for five days without washing it. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in. and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the social medias. I'm always on there answering your comments and just being interactive with you guys online. I love seeing you guys there as well. So be sure to find me there and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.